Hello guys and welcome to my grocery haul. I am going to show you how much food it takes to feed our family of 12 for the whole month. We will go back for some fresh fruit and milk in the middle of the month, but otherwise, this is it. This is what we're gonna eat off of. And I will also show you how much we spent on it. Our grocery budget is $1,300 a month. And we've been trying to buy mostly one ingredient foods when we're shopping just to try to eat healthier around here. It's been going well. I started with Sam's Club and I'm just gonna show you really quick around the table what I got. I got berries that my children don't wanna stay out of. Okay, it's raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. They aren't the best prices, but the prices are definitely starting to come down and they look so good to me. We got four bags of red potatoes. We do about one bag a week. We got some yellow onions. We picked up red onions last month, so I realized I have about enough when I get a big bag every month, so that kind of works. This cheese, we love this cheese. It's Kerrygold Irish cheese, and it's wonderful. We slice it off with sandwich type situations and we shred it as well works for both um the shaved blend of asiago parmesan and romano is also very good this is a new discovery for us last month we bought one bag definitely loved it with all italian type foods so we got two bags this month we picked up this garlic at sam's club one of our viewers told us last month to make sure our garlic was not grown in china our garlic from aldi was from china so we decided to just try out the sam's club we do go through a lot of garlic so i think we'll go through that it might take two months though instead of one we got a bag of avocados and some cucumbers a big block of parmesan cheese see someone's been eating the strawberries and we got these round oh baby bell cheese I wanted to get string cheese. They were out of it, so that was disappointing. We've got one thing of tomatoes on the vine, and I think we're missing a cherry tomato. I just sent a kid to the car to check. Got a bag of pistachios, three things of maple syrup, three two packs of honey. That's six things of honey. We actually use this to make bread, so we're going through it really fast. Um, four four packs of butter, so that's 16 pounds of butter. I've been buying 16 pounds lately and trying to freeze some extra, but that hasn't happened yet. So three big things of drumsticks. Look, this is the meat we bought, and we had it all stacked in one cart. Solo and I went and had two huge carts full, but some guy came up to him, an older gentleman, and said, man, look at all that meat. I'm going home with you tonight. <laughs> Solo said, we're feeding a lot of people at our house. There may not be any leftovers. So there's three things of drumsticks, two big things of chicken breasts, two things of chicken thighs, and four of stewed meat, beef. So we still have ground beef from the cow we bought, but we are running low on our meat. So that will help. Because Solo went with me, he stuck this in the cart. It's a big thing of bacon. <laughs> this is probably the only thing we got that is not one ingredient food. And by one ingredient, I mean it's just like one thing in the food. Although there are a few exceptions for like several different vegetables in one bag. <laughs> this tuna we picked up because it only just has sea salt in it uh, with the tuna and water. And it's very good. So we got four packs of it for this month. We probably won't go through all four. We got eight milks that lasts us two weeks in our house with all these children. Two things of sour cream. Three uh, big curtains of heavy whipping cream. Did I show you the block of Parmesan cheese? My oldest son, Judah, he loves to make Alfredo sauce with that Parmesan, huge block of Parmesan cheese and the heavy cream. So he was excited to see that big block of Parmesan. Um, four big things of Greek yogurt. We use that to make our own dressings and I don't know, we cook with it too sometimes. This bag of, of coleslaw, we just throw that in with some ground beef and make like egg roll in a bowl. Really, really quick dinner, so easy and pretty healthy. Two bags of Brussels sprouts, two bags of broccoli. We will roast all of these and two bags of these mixed vegetables and we'll roast those as well. And we'll probably roast these too. These are frozen um, vegetables. We'll use frozen more in the second half of the month. And then this is some carrots just for snacking, especially for the kids for lunch. I, I love getting snap peas too, but they didn't have it. And then these mushrooms. I have one daughter, Tori, who loves frying mushrooms. So she'll do that for breakfast a lot. So I got those especially for her. Here's a box of corn and a thing of romaine hearts. We have some leftover from a couple weeks ago when we were at the store. And so we use those for sandwich wraps and cut it up for salads. Usually I buy a couple bags, but since we had some leftover, we should be good with that one. Got a couple bags of rice cauliflower. I eat that more than anybody else in this house. And then these four bags of berries, frozen berries. 
four bags of frozen fruit. We had some frozen fruit even for lunch today because we were missing fresh fruit. So it really helps when we run out. So when I show you how much fruit we buy, <laughs> you'll be amazed that we ever run out. But we do, before the two weeks is over, a lot of times we will run out. So the fro frozen fruit really helps then. Plus we use it in oatmeal, in yogurt, in um, smoothies. Okay, oh, here's the tomatoes, found them. Poor Luca, he was looking in the car. <laughs> and then this bag of Parmesan crisps. I like these, but I really like these, and all the kids love them too, on salads. We just crush up a few of them. So it can make this bag last for the month by just putting a little on your salad. It gives you a little crunch without like tortilla chips or something. And then, okay, let me show you our fresh fruit. First of all, the mangoes were on sale, so we got these. I think it was $5 for all of these, which for us is a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Sad to say, uh, our kids love mangoes. So we're excited about that. Two bags of apples, four bags of these small oranges. This is a big bag, five pounds. And then two bags of these, I think it's eight pounds of oranges. We got two of those bags. Four bunches of bananas, two things of grapes. Of course, I showed you the fresh berries already. And then we got some lemons and limes, a bag of each of those. So we've been using fresh lemon and lime juice a lot lately and loving that. We got two things of coconut oil. We go through a lot of coconut oil. Also put this in our bread that we make. We cook with it all the time. And some olive oil. We got the mother jar of all <laughs> olive oils. I don't really, I like keeping olive oil out on my counter, but I'm not gonna do it with this big old thing. <laughs> and then I just picked this up. This is an impulse buy. Almond butter. I think I'm the only person in this house that really likes almond butter, but I love putting a little sweetener in it like stevia and just put it in the fridge and it's like a little dessert. We also picked up this big thing of basmati rice, white rice. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Oh, okay. Uh, this is just to put in our storage room. It's time to replenish the rice. A box of trash bags and two things of toilet paper. My total at Sam's Club with the toilet paper and everything was $820, which is pretty good. I am pretty happy with that number. I also have to go to Walmart, Aldi, and Trader Joe's for a few things at each store. I'll show you quick what I got at those places. But at the end, I will have a new order from Azure Standard, which is an online store that you buy and then you go to like a common pickup site with everybody else in your area that ordered at a certain time and place and you get very good price on grains. I mean, the rice was cheaper at Sam's Club. I price check everything. But most of my greens that I get are way cheaper there and organic. So I got another order this month. I'm excited to show you what that is and so stay tuned to see that. I don't think I showed you these sweet peppers. But um, basically eating one ingredient foods has cut out a lot of preservatives out of our diet. A lot of extra fillers and extra unknown salts and sugars too. Okay, it's another day. I got some more groceries today. I'm, in fact, I'm gonna keep running because I have a bunch of little things to get at different stores. Sometimes I think, should I just not worry about getting it all at the beginning of the month? But it actually really does help me just to have it all here. And so I think it's worth it just taking a little time. I'm competing. And just stopping by a bunch of stores and picking up what I need and having it at home. So I ran into Sam's because I had Tori with me and she has been insistent about getting some um, lemonade because the kids in the neighborhood wanna do lemonade stands and you know we're not squeezing all those lemons out for the neighbors. Sorry neighbors, <laughs> we love you but. So they did have string cheese I noticed when we were getting the lemonade. So she already wrote all over it, don't touch Tori. <laughs> I uh, got three things of that string cheese and lemonade for $35. Then I went into Walmart with her. We got all these. I'm, I'm really keeping my storeroom, storage room, emergency food storage, whatever, nice and stocked. And so every time I have a chance to do that, I do that. So this brand of tomatoes, crushed tomatoes we're getting here are one ingredient and they're very good, very good. They're a lot more expensive than the others that I bought, but I guess about double the price. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I'll keep that up or not, but so far we're saving money in other ways So it works out to spend a little more on some more quality ingredients. Let me say uh, Whole wheat spaghetti just got eight of those. I looked for spiral noodles. They didn't have the whole wheat in stock. We picked up some sushi uh, To make some sushi bowls this month 
And I actually looked for smoked salmon and boy, there's just a lot of stuff in smoked salmon. I've never bought that at a grocery store before, smoked salmon. And I don't know, maybe it's worth it. Maybe I'll try it one of these days, but just decided not to this time. Instead, on the night that we do those, I think we'll just stop by our local meat market place and just get some sushi grade salmon, just a little piece for those sushi bowls and just do it that way this time. I got a bunch of chopped spinach. I wanted chopped collard greens, but they didn't have it, so I did kale instead. We use these for quiche, any of them, and we use them to make a Kenyan dish with greens and beef. That's really good, and then we got all our eggs. That's the reason I go into Walmart. I try to order them online, uh, do a pickup order, and they told me they didn't have any of these eggs. I realized Easter's coming up, maybe that's why. Well, when I went in, they had plenty. My total at Walmart was just under $80. That price did include a 50 cent pie that Tori picked out that she ate on the way home before her siblings saw. All right, I finally finished the shopping. So glad to be done with that. I actually went into Trader Joe's before I went to Aldi and I realized, you know what? I probably could get what I need at Aldi at Trader Joe's because there was only like four things on my list. Three, maybe. And who needs to walk in a store when you don't have to? I'm competing again. Um, so let me show you, I got it Trader Joe's. Um, I went in for their peanut butter. I do like their peanut butter a lot. Got eight of these, because <laughs> I haven't gone in for a while. They're just cheaper. I wish I could find somewhere else too that has this great a price. So if you know of a place with great price for natural peanut butter, nothing but salt added, I would love to know that. I got a basil plant because I was just tempted. It was 250. <laughs> Less than 250, I think. And then the thing I was going to Aldi for was um, seafood. They have Mama. seafood that doesn't have added stuff in it, Mama. which was not the case at Walmart. I did check at Walmart. Yes, yes, ma'am. You want a more orange? Okay, go for it. So what was added at all the other places I looked for it was sodium triphosphate. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna be honest. It's something with sodium. Uh, anyway, this did not have it. And the one at Aldi does not have it either. They have scallops at Aldi and shrimp that I've been buying that has nothing added to it. Well, these bags were about a dollar more. They had about the same size and they have scallops, shrimp, and calamari rings in the same bag. So to save a trip to another store and to get the calamari, it was worth for me the extra dollar per bag. I got four bags and now I'm starting to think maybe we could get away with three for a dinner because that would be one bag per four people, which is plenty. We have little ones that don't eat that much. Um, we've been using four bags. That's a lot of seafood. So we've been doing seafood once a month and it is so good. We've enjoyed it a lot. It's like our one fancy meal a month that we eat at home. Uh, been coming up with different w recipes to use it. We're all seafood fans here, so that's been really worth it. And yeah, anyway, found it at Trader Joe's. What I spent at Trader Joe's was 50, hold. What I spent at Trader Joe's was $50, just $50. And then the last thing is the one I'm excited to show you. I went back to Azure Standard, which is in, um, like I want to say it's like a food co-op thing. I'm not sure what you would call it. You order your food online in bulk, mostly bulk things. And I've been checking all kinds of stuff. In fact, I need to see if they have peanut butter there, actually. They have all kinds of food, but some of it is great prices, like excellent, best prices you could ever find for the organic thing, the really huge bags. And then some of it is not the best prices. So I'm like price checking everything I'm trying but we have loved everything we got there last month. Last month was my first month to do it. So there is one pickup date for your area in that month, one pickup time, you gotta be there or arrange with somebody else who picks up there to pick it up for you. And so you're saving money on shipping. You still pay a little for shipping, but you like split the cost with the group. This month, I got more hard white wheat because we go through a lot of that making bread. This is a 50 pound bag. We have not used the whole 50 pound bag we bought last month. We used at least half of that. So it was definitely wanted to get another bag of that. This is organic. That 50 pound bag was $45. They're soft white wheat, which we use for a lot of other baking. And these are wheat berries, by the way, because we have a wheat grinder or grain grinder. <laughs> Their soft white wheat is even a lot cheaper. For organic, it's amazing price. Bag of brown basmati rice. That's our favorite rice to eat. That's what we eat most of the time. The only time we eat white rice is if my husband's cooking like 
one of his Indian dishes or one of his Kenyan dishes. A lot of times he'll make um, white rice with that just because it reminds him of home. But otherwise we do eat brown rice here most of the time. So the, everything else I got there was new. And the, by the way, the brown rice was not, it's non-GMO, but it is not organic. Um, but the price was better than where, I usually buy brown basmati rice from and that is Walmart. I got these two bags of salt and I am not seeing the price right now. Um, I wanted to get pink Himalayan salt. It was a lot cheaper, but they were out of that one. So I'm just trying out this and these bags and next time I will try the other when they have it back available. I got this big thing of cacao powder. I think that's how you say it. It's organic. It's five pounds and it was $25, but this will last a long time and I price checked it with other places. It seemed like a good price. Got this bag of pinto beans. It's five pounds and it was six dollars just over six and then i got four big bags of coconut sugar they're five pounds each we do go through a lot of coconut sugar at our house and each bag was 17 dollars so that made it 68 dollars for this but it will last quite a while i think so my total was actually 163 dollars all right all together for the month i have spent a one thousand one hundred and twelve dollars my grocery budget is $1,300 for the month. That leaves me plenty in the middle of the month. Oh, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't tell you the other two things I wanted at Aldi was just cilantro and green onions. They were terrible prices at Trader Joe's. I didn't want to buy them there. So next time someone's running by a store, my husband or my son, I'll just have them get some of that for me. I'm growing some green onions that we probably have enough of actually. So it's just cilantro. Anyway, I have plenty of money to get some fruit, fresh fruit in the middle of the month and get a bunch more gallons of milk and then uh, some cilantro. <laughs> and we're good to go. We got our food for the month. For the next few weeks, we'll probably be showing you what we're having for dinner, maybe breakfasts and lunches, some of the recipes we're learning to make um, with our one ingredient foods. I feel like my grocery hauls have simplified. For me, it just seems simpler because I have so many of the ingredients to make breads. I don't have to buy the buns and the tortillas and the bread. It just seems simpler when I'm going to the store. I have ingredients to make things more and I'm not buying pre-made stuff. And for some reason in my own mind, it just seems simpler. I'm, I'm so surprised every month that I'm not going over budget the way we're shopping because we're buying some things that are a lot more expensive just because they're cleaner. There's a lot of things I'm learning. There's some things I am not very good at yet. We have tried tortillas over and over and over and just cannot get them right. I'm not sure what we're doing wrong with those, but they seem to be too thick every time or they, they like shrink before we can get them to the frying pan and then they seem kind of um, chewy. So they haven't been awesome yet. Uh, we're still working on sprouted green bread. I've sprouted my own greens and I cannot, I have tried so many recipes and I cannot find a recipe that works well. I don't know why. I think I need to understand something about the science of sprouted green breads and what they do when they're baked. And so I need to do some more research in that way. And then we're making our own chocolate, chocolate bars. Our chocolate with sugar is turning out great. In fact, I need to make some chocolate chips for the kids. But our, my sugar-free chocolate I keep trying, I have not really liked that very much. It's, it's okay, I eat it a little, little bits when I need it, but I haven't found a recipe I'm happy with in that way. So there's still things we're working on. I found a new bread recipe though that I love. We're making so much bread, it is very good, very tasty. And so this is just a work in progress for us. We're learning a lot. Years ago when I had only five kids I think, or six, we went through a few years phase of just eating whole foods, everything, which was very similar to this. Uh, except we didn't just make sure it was one ingredient, but we made sure we really understood everything in the ingredients and really clean eating. And that's when I learned how to make granola and yogurt and all those things. So I wanna encourage you, if you're trying to eat healthier, even if you make some steps or you just try something for a little while, you can learn things. We stopped eating only that Whole Foods way and we started adding more processed foods for a while just because we did not have the time to keep up with it. It wasn't a good season for us for that. And you know what? I learned so much in that season that carried over um, for years afterward that we never changed. Like we quit buying cereal and we only buy it for birthdays and we eat, we make homemade granola and I've always done that since then and I make my own yogurt since then and there are different things that stuck 
during that season. So I think when you're trying to eat healthy and change things, even if you don't keep it up for a long time, you might learn some things that you can keep up with and make some healthy changes for your family. So I just wanna encourage you, if you feel like you look at our stuff and you feel overwhelmed, it may not be a season for you to try the same kind of thing that we're trying, but those little changes can make a big difference too. And, um, <laughs> Boy, she's just too cute, and I need to stop talking. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. We will talk to you later. Can you say goodbye, Destiny? Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.